You could eat a whole dick, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. You was fake in the hood, nigga. No like good oh, ass, nigga. All right, let's get this out of the way right now. This anime, Cyberpunk Edge Runners, is absolutely fantastic. Both well, CDPR and Studio Trigger knocked this out of the park. From animation, the story, the characters, the details to the map. Now, before you, you know, if you ever get into this, do you need to know the lore? I say not really. You don't really need to know the lore beforehand, but knowing the lore and everything that happens in this amazing universe definitely enhances experience, including playing the game as well. Also enhances the experience of watching uh, Cyberpunk Edge Runners. So I think uh, it it definitely helps, you know, because since Edge Runners take take place like probably like a year or two before cyberpunk 2077 the story for cyberpunk edge runners is actually amazing on par with the game of the story mode if you don't know one of the main uh the main praises the main game has is the fact that it has a main story and it's the same thing uh with the anime pretty much get you hooked got me hooked especially from uh beginning to end the anime entirely is a whole roller coaster of emotions from the quiet moments with just characters talking they're about their dreams aspirations and everything making us fall in love with the characters uh to the crazy action certain events happen to stories like character deaths and such betrayals heartbreaking moments that um make me go ahead and uh be in denial and smoke copium for 20 minutes and contemplate on what the fuck just happened excuse my language um but the characters the main characters all the characters were written very very well there really no complaint i had with these characters the main the main mc David Martinez, I loved him, man. He was a really good main protagonist for this story. It kind of, it's just like this. I really wanted David, spoiler warning again, if you haven't seen the spoiler warning beginning of the video, I really wanted David to survive. I really wanted him to survive, but something Johnny Silverhand said in the, in the, in the game, it said, a happy ending for folks like us wrong city wrong people so the writing was essentially on the wall uh for my man's david martinez again um uh, he was a really great mc him and faraday kind of similarly had the same they had the same um goal almost I say almost because, you know, he was, David was in cyber psychosis. He wants to climb to the top. Both of them did. But, you know, Faraday wanted to, Faraday wanted to climb the corporate, you know, the corporate empire and stuff like that. Which I find it very satisfying that his death in the movie, not the movie, the anime, he falls down from the tower that he tried to climb on i think that's befitting of um a faraday's character i think the death and i'm glad lucy survived in the end uh knowing uh lucy's backstory her backstory was sad as fuck but not only that i think her backstory paints not paints a picture but also shed light on some of the horrific things arasaka was doing because for one, I was like, huh, what, what other thing Arasaka was, you know, doing? I didn't know shooting, I didn't know they were shooting, you know. I didn't know they were um, hurting people, hurting kids. And experimenting on them for, you know, net running. 
and stuff like that. And that's all I'm gonna say because case this this um this video gets demonetized. I don't want that, right? I really don't. But I think the death that messed me up the most. And for those who watch the anime, you know exactly who I'm talking about. <sighs> it's my girl Rebecca. Her and Lucy are the best girls. Again, I keep saying this. They're the new best girls of Night City. And the way Rebecca got taken out was so sad. And it like it came. It came to it it, it hit her like a freight train. Literally. Man, Studio Trigger really had to rewind that three different angles, three different times. I'll never forgive him for that. Now I don't mind it. It was really, it was really well done. They did this the whole like from three different angles, three different shots for certain character deaths a couple of times throughout the entire uh, anime. Another thing that I love from the story is that the anime explains. Uh, certain things that you know happens not happen in the game but happens that couple items that you get so for example uh rebecca's guts shotgun and how that landed on the front or near the front of arasaka tower they brutally explained that um also how v or how falco has a David Martinez jacket in the first place and how he was able to contact uh, Reyes, you know, the fixer in Santo Domingo to give to V um, during Cyberpunk 2077. Also, another thing I noticed, the mech, <clears throat> the mech that was used by David um, in the last two episodes of the series was actually meant for Adam Smasher. I'm so glad that shit was destroyed. Because if it was in 2077, the game, V would have had problems. V had a higher chance of not surviving Adam Smasher if he had that mech that David had. Good thing it was destroyed during the final battle. There's really nothing more I can really say about the story. The story is just simply amazing. Now, let's move on to the animation. The animation on this anime is god tier. There's really nothing I can nothing else I can truly really say about this. I mean I can, but the animation is it's really amazing from every 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 frame, the way the character is drawn, the way everything is shot. It's like a beautiful ass painting. A real beautiful ass painting. Every scene you watch, it just, it just amazing. I know. I don't really know what else to say. Like this studio trigger. Shout out to Studio Trigger. The strong outfit you know for this one. Uh, I think this would be their their best work. Their best work. Of course, I'm not just some of the animation, the, the entire writing team, and um, the showrunner, uh, Rafael, Rafael Jockey. Y'all outdid yourselves. This is a knockout. <laughs> There's really nothing more I can say. The, the animation, the writing, everything is simply amazing. But another thing I want to move on to. Two more things before we wrap this this video up. Um, shouts out, shouts out to the entire English uh, English dub voice actors. Uh, everyone did such an amazing job acting out these characters and making them believable. Uh, especially my standout, my standout of course, uh, Dave, the CA that they gave it. Um, Lucy, Rebecca, and my favorite one, you already know who my favorite one is, Giancarlo Esposito, I say that. 
I hope I said your name perfect. Your name right. I don't want to mess that up. But the VA is spectacular. Okay, the last part, maybe. The last part is definitely the music. Man, the music in not only the game, but in this anime was really, really fucking good. Two songs to me that stand out the most, uh, I think is, I want to say, wait, hold on. Let me check. I, re I really want to stay out of your house. I think that's the name. And another one is Let You Down, which is the end theme song for each time the episode end. And apparently there's a story behind it um about a net runner um who worked for Maine Kiwi Rebecca who's in that crew until um before Lucy joined the team so this is probably like a year or two before that and the song let you down also plays to David's story as well he feels that way for like Maine and you know his mom they both died in front of him and the whole nine so the song has significance to the entire plot of cyberpunk edge runners and the song again the song i really want to stay at your place uh, i think that's the name of it again i don't know but um it hit hard and the fact that this is my first time hearing this song and this song was already in the base game. It took me two years to realize this song was in the game. I never heard the song when I played Cyberpunk in the older uh, patches and whatnot. This is my first time truly hearing about it. And I fell in love with it ever since. And the way it was used in the ending of Cyberpunk Edge Runners is so fucking heartbreaking. It, I'm going to play it. I just, I can, I hope I play it in the video and don't get copyright. I don't think it's copyrighted, but you know, you know how YouTube acts, um, and stuff like that. It, it just really, it, it just sad. It's a sad ending for Cyberpunk Edge Runners, man. Um, again, if I give this a rating, it would definitely be a 10 out of 10. It's one, it's just a beautiful masterpiece from beginning to end now. I'll probably make like put a montage here at the end with a song. Um, but now, if you excuse me, damn it's an out of 10. I have other things uh, to do. More cyberpunk content coming. Uh, so please like, comment, subscribe. And also, I'll be right back. I gotta go smoke Adam Smasher's pack. I couldn't wait for you to come and clear the cupboard. I'm sorry. Because I miss you all the time. So.